ICRA is the Infection Control Risk Assessment. That's a 14-step process that facilities will go through to determine the type of containment that's needed for the type of project that's going to be undertaken. When a hospital or an office setting, doctor's office, issues that ICRA permit, we want to make sure that as an instructor, everyone's trained to know how to follow those directions properly. First and foremost, the program is focused entirely around patient safety. The ICRA program itself was developed through the help of a group of subject matter experts focused on uh, infection control and epidemiology from across the country. Our International Training Center brought these folks in and brainstormed with them and came up with a curriculum that's now taught at over 250 training facilities across the United States. ICRA is controlling contaminants, so we want to go in and assess, okay, what needs to be done, how it needs to be done, how to control contaminants that will come out of the area. There's a 24-hour training program that the carpenters go through, and 16 hours of that program are in a classroom setting where we discuss awareness in the hospital, hazardous materials in the hospital, professionalism, code of conduct, the unique environment that a hospital presents. It's different from anywhere else that we might work. It's made me a lot more aware of what we're putting in the air that we're, you know, that we're breathing in every day at work. I didn't even know what the word friable meant until they started this class. Now I see it constantly. It's like every, every time you wipe something or disturb anything, you just sort of puff of dust. On a normal construction site, carpenters don't have to worry about dust generally. They're out in an open air environment. They don't have patients that could be seriously ill adjacent to their workspace. There's really very little concern for it on the outside. Uh, in a hospital, though, there's people that could live or die depending on the way we go about conducting ourselves and the way we approach our construction projects. We take great pride in producing the best qualified carpenters that money can buy for any contractor out there, but in particular in the healthcare sector, where we know it's a specialized and a unique environment. The HEPA filters are obviously extremely important for the negative air because you're trying to eliminate contaminants, whether it's mist, vapors, dust, mold, down to 0.3 microns or less, or 99.97% air purification. The carpenters will be taught how to build soft and hard wall containment walls. They'll learn about the new modular systems that are becoming more and more prevalent. They'll learn about the control of airborne and bloodborne pathogens. They'll also learn how to set up the negative air environments with the HEPA filters and how to monitor them. We'll build anti-rooms. We'll prepare the area for a real, true on-site environment. As far as it looking like a hospital, we want to have them trained in an area that they might be working in when they go into a hospital. So we have the reception area, we have patient areas, we have waiting areas. The idea of the program is to educate our members so that they can be the very best from the first minute they step onto the job. We're pushing for an infection control. We want to make sure that the immune compromised are safe when we're doing our construction inside of a hospital. Regardless of whether you're doing a renovation project or you're building a new building, it's important that we go about it in the right way, that we use our best practices, that we make sure that it's a clean and orderly site, and that we don't leave anything within the confines of those walls that could eventually turn into mold and create a negative environment for those patients that are sick that come there every day.